Hi everybody, welcome back to the beauty portion of my channel. I apologize first of all for my voice. It has gone down drastically bad since even yesterday when I did my last video. It has gotten worse and I feel worse. I thought yesterday was like the worst day that of I would feel bad, but it's not. I've been taking medicine, trying to get better quicker. Nothing is really working, so I'm just trying to literally sweat this thing out, but it's not really going as fast as I would like it to. Um, but then again, think nothing ever does, so I don't know what else to do. Anyways, um, I did do some shopping today. Nick has been a complete sweetheart the past couple of days that I've been sick, um, and he basically said, hey, you know, I know what makes you feel better, let's just go shopping, and I'm like, ugh. And a lot of you guys should know, if you're new to my channel, you probably don't know this, but I'm moving back home down to Florida, and I, we've made we made a rule in the beginning when I came back, when I came back from Florida this past uh, month that I wasn't going to go spending on anything, on makeup or anything. But he's like, I know you haven't, you've been doing good, you know, we haven't been spending a lot of money. <coughs> so let's just go spend some money. I'm like, alright, that's, that's chill to me. That's amazing. Um, so I did pretty good though. I didn't spend a lot. But I did get a lot though. So I'm excited because this is going to be kind of like a combined haul of a couple of things that I got last week. Um, things that I actually have actually needed or told myself that I needed. But, um, yeah, so let's just get right into it. So I'll start with the things I got last week because there really wasn't a lot at all. So, like I said, I've been pretty much going nuts, so especially today with nail polish. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry that I sound nasty. Um, but I've been going nuts with nail polish, and if you saw me on Instagram, that you know that I already have my nails this color. This is the LA Colors nail polish. This one is in Flicker, and it's a seriously bright highlight color. Um, and I'm in love with it. it. It just, it's amazing. It's an amazing color. And I don't like it with a collection either, which is just as good because I hate having the same thing over, like, continuously in my collection. I hate having two of the same thing. These go for a dollar, and I got these from Dollar General. And, uh, I also got this, uh, nail polish pen. This is a Flash Pop pen. Another LA Colors, uh, product. And it has just this light pink on this end. This very light rosy pink, and then it has light pink sparkles near the other end. I think it's so cool. Um, this one is in Pinksicle. They had a bunch of different ones, but this one was one that really caught my eye. Everything else looks kind of similar to what I had in my collection, so I didn't go for those. And this was the only one that I don't really have in my collection. I have pinks, but I don't have like rose petal, like light, light pinks like this one. So this was awesome. This cost $150, I think. And then the rest of the things I got from Dollar General were lip products because I've been, if you know, if you've watched my Instagram, then you know that I've been experimenting, like, a lot more with, like, brighter lip colors, and I did happen to buy a couple. So, this one isn't nearly as bright as the other two that I'm going to show you, but it's pretty much there. I got a Color Whisper in, this one's made at Mauve, and this is what it looks like. It's like a deep reddish apple red, I guess, and it looks so pretty is not really a very bright red as you can see but it comes off nicely it's a nice nudie red I guess you could say nothing too blah yeah I also got another baby lip um I, you know, those of you have seen my collection of baby lips if you haven't let me know I'll post it but I'm on my way to having every single one of them if I don't already which is amazing to me because I love these this one is in where is it strike a rose and it's a hot pink one it looks orange but it's actually hot pink and that is right there and that's after some like serious rubbing in like that doesn't come off like that you get a hint of pink in your lips when you rub it off just the one time but you don't get anything like this until you've actually like over and over and over again run, run over your lips so alright so as for the other two lippies that I got from the yes or a couple days ago actually. If I take frequent breaks it's because my throat is killing me but I want this video out for you guys so if that doesn't show how much I love you guys then I don't know what else will. Alright so I got two wet and wild lipsticks and these are the ones I've been wearing continuously since I got them. This first one is Spotlight Red and it is like the perfect red. It's like a fire engine red. It's beautiful. I'll give you a nice swatcheroo of that. Look how beautiful that is. 
That is the beautifulest. And they're both so creamy. Like, I love Wet n Wild lipsticks because they're all so creamy. And their color pigmentation is just out of this world. One swipe, and usually it just stays that color for the rest of the time you have it on. The other one I have is in Wine Room. And this one's like a more of a mauve pink with some blue undertones to it. And that looks like right there. This is Spotlight Red, and this is um, Wine Room. I'll have information down below in the description box for most of the items that I have in this. So you guys will have that at your disposal. Alright, so then I went to FYE. So this is that was all that I got from the other day. Um, so today, um, my two favorite purchases, um, I'll save for last because they're actually pretty cool. Um, but I won't say nothing else I got is my favorite because I got a lot of cool things today. But one of the first things that I got... <coughs> I'm sorry if that makes people sick. Listen to people who are sick. I got this shirt today from FYE. And it's all the original Pokemon, or most of them. And I've been big time watching, re-watching all the Pokemon episodes with my kid brother. And I gotta say that it's been nostalgic for me. And... What else is nostalgic is the fact that McDonald's now is reselling the Pokemon toys with Pokemon cards in the toys. So if I bring Daniel to McDonald's, I always, he knows what's up. He knows he can keep the toy for himself, but I want the cards, which is fine with him because he's not old enough really for cards yet to really understand what they're for. But for me, they're sentimental reasons why I want those damn cards. So he always gives them to me. I have Charizard, no. I have po Pikachu, and there's something else I got. I think I got Charizard this time around. So, happy about that. Um, but the shirts at FYE were buy one, get one 50% off. So, I took advantage of it. And I got one of my most favorite, like, classic rock bands. I swear to God, I've sprayed chloroseptic on my tonsils, like, spot on, at least a half a dozen times since I've been home and I got home an hour ago. It's friggin' ridiculous. So, I got the Abbey Road tea. I am in love with it. I love it. I have this poster in my bedroom, but I thought having the t-shirt would just make things just that much more complete. If you don't know who you, who the Beatles are, then you need to, like, research, girl. Alright, so, we'll just quickly go through the Walmart things. Uh, don't want to knock anything over. Alright, so I got Nick his things, his swagger. He loves the Old Spice things, and I love it. That I love them too, because they smell so good. And I usually buy his things for him, because I like, I like to know what he smells like before he puts it on. I got a replacement EOS shaving cream. This stuff is amazing. You can dry shave with this, and it feels your, it makes your legs feel absolutely amazing. Just like it would feel if you were actually shaving in the shower. So, I highly recommend this. This one's in Lavender Jasmine. It smells so good. And because I've... My hair has been feeling kind of uh, funky lately. Like, really greasy. Because I've been doing... I had to color my hair. It is burgundy now. Well, now it looks orange, kind of. So, I got some replacement hair dye, too. Um, but it's been feeling kind of, you know, weighed down. So, I got my big old bottles of Pantene, uh, the Aqua Light Shampoo Conditioner. These things smell amazing. There's no, there's, it's paraben and dye free, which is really good for your hair. And it leaves my hair feeling absolutely clean and amazing. And even if I leave it for like two days after, it still feels like it's still clean. So I don't really need a dry shampoo anymore because of those two conditioner, because uh, the conditioner and shampoo. So that's just a plus. Alright, so now, <coughs> excuse me. My throat's itchy as shit. Alright, so now for everything else. So like I said, I repurchased my hair dye because I need to do it again because it's lacking in color because I think I wash a little bit too much all the time. So I got those two replacements. I also found this. I've been running out of my nail polish remover. And I saw this and it's by Onyx Professional and it says moisturizing formula. Which is weird because I figured alcohol, anything alcohol based would be drying for your hands. So seeing this was amazing. Is there no alcohol in this? I don't think there's any alcohol in this. It says lavender scented, salon strength, enriched with vitamin E and grapeseed oil. Removes nail polish, 
nail glue, glitter polish, and more. It doesn't say anything about alcohol, so that's amazing. Cool. That was two fifty. So I was like, yes, let's do it. I got another baby lips to further uh, grow my collection. This one is in Coral Crush. I was told that for my complexion, corals would look good, oranges would look good. I'm not so sure about that. So I was like, you know what, I'm going to try it with a very faint coral and see how it looks. It's like straight up, straight up orange. This barely has any color to it. Barely, barely. They're not supposed to have any color to it, so I'm not really expecting it to. See it? It's pretty cute. It smells like straight up orange, though. Does anybody else have the problem that their hair falls out all the time? Like, not fall out of my skull, but like it falls, it like, it started up here and then it kind of just went its own way and went downwards. I have very heavy hair. And at this point, I don't really care what it looks like. I don't care. Alright. <coughs> like I said in the beginning, I went kind of polish crazy. Because I got mainly nail polishes, and I know that's awful. Because I have so many already. But there were so many new lines out that I've never heard before in my life. One of which was Heart to Art um, by Fingers. These were $1.60. And these are huge nail polish bottles. Like, comparable in size to Simple Colors. Even bigger than those, though. And I got this one in this, like, electric blue. This one is in the boys, the boys in blue. And I got this really cool, like, greenish one in teal, like, the color teal. We meet again, which is really cute. So I'll have a review on these nail polish because I've never used them before. I've never seen them before. And these are the last two colors left, which is kind of perfect because I love the color blue. And I just figured I'd take them and try them out. Speaking of simple colors, I got a mauve -y color. This one is in Mauvelicious or Marvelous. Sorry. And then I got this one in Mint Apple, which is like a mint green color. Um, and then I went to the NYC aisle. I've been running out of my clear top coat, my fast drying top coat, so I got a top coat. And then I got this really pretty, like, baby blue, a deep baby blue colored from the NYC in a New York Minute color quick dry nail polish. This one is in NY Blues, New York Blues. I did also grab some nail art pens, which I'm super excited about because I've been really big into nail art lately, so I'm excited to see what I can do with these. And the last three products that I got uh, from Walmart are all eye products. I finally got my hands on this these Maybelline quads. I got this one in uh, Amethyst Smokes. It's a very pretty purple and deep mauve uh, palette or quad I should say. So you can open it and give you some looks at everything. That was easy. So that's what that looks like. Aren't they gorgeous? Like I'm so excited to put do, uh, do looks with it. Um, it's, as you can see it's very purple. Everything in here is shimmer. Um, it, it, it may look matte, but even the mattest looking ones have some sheen to them. And the pigmentation on these is amazing. Like, holy crap. Like, I'm barely touching these. Uh -huh. So nice. This was $5, I think. Which is kind of pricey for a quad, but whatever. It was worth it. Because I'm worth it. This is the last time you'll see me with such a bad hairdo. Okay? Like, I probably look like a hood bitch. I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry. I was about to sneeze. Alright. The last two products I got for the eyes were two NYC uh, multi-reflex eyeshadows. And these are sticks. Um... I've never used them before, but I've seen reviews on them, and everyone says they're really, really good. They're not really amazing, but they're good for the product and for the quality of, or the expected quality of the line of makeup that it's from. It does have a doe foot applicator, which is really a new thing for me, for eyeshadows. But I will say that these are super, 
super pigmented look at that that purple so this first one that I just watched is in Amethyst Dazzle which is right there come on focus there we go and then the second one I got was in Smoky Topaz holy crap these are so pigmented and these were like 90 cents like really really cheap which is why I got them look at those that's an NYC product y'all that's amazing okay like holy crap and then last but not least I was TJ Maxx and this is what I'm super excited about I went just strolling around there and because I'm a part of a bunch of like nail polish collectors nail polish swaps makeup swaps on Facebook and a bunch of people were saying hey if you're near a TJ Maxx or a Marshalls or whatever go now because they have a bunch of OPI nail polishes I've never ever owned an OPI nail polish I went today expecting them to be sold out but they were not I got the collection by OPI in the Brazil collection oh it says Beach Sandies <gasps> these are the ones these are the textured ones. I didn't know that. Yes. It says Beach Sandies Liquid Sand Mini Nail Lacquers. Four vibrant liquid sand minis from the Brazil collection that dry to a textured matte finish infuse the reflective glints of light. That is awesome. This was six bucks for this little quad of nail polishes. But you know what? It makes it so much more better because they're textured, which is amazing because they got two full size textured ones too. But. <coughs> <coughs> sorry I need to hurry this along because I'm about to die alright so I'm super excited about this and I can't wait to try these out because I've seen so many reviews on these like textured nail polishes and everyone says you need to go get you some so I got me some girl that's awesome the other ones I got was another textured uh, nail polish same from OPI together at last this flashy duo adds year round sparkle so I got this again, or this one was $8 because they're full sized, but even still, this would have been like $16, even $20 for this in like Sephora or something like that. So, these are completely full size nail polishes. This one, the textured one, this is the liquid sand one that I'm talking about, the other one that I got. This one is in the shade, what wizardry is this? And it looks, it looks gold, but it has some green tint to it. So I'm, I'm interested in seeing what that's about. And this other one that is not textured, I don't think, is the, it's, what's it in? Sprung. Like sprung. Spring has sprung. That's that. Which is like a goldish color, which I'm super excited about. So, yeah, to find these OPIs was super amazing. And I found a bunch of like orly ones. There was one from Sephora by OPI I almost got. I literally had to stop myself. And I also found some Batiste um, dry shampoos. But given the fact that I failed with my Pantene one, I don't really think any other companies make a difference. Because obviously it won't work for me. So I just said, fuck it. Sorry, I got cussed. I just said, F it. And just said no to those. And got these beautiful ones instead. So now I have some OPI nail polishes and I'm super excited to get these on and seeing how these come out I'll post pictures of the nail polishes the textured ones on my Instagram if you haven't followed me yet please do that um, but that's all I have for you guys for my haul for today it's getting dark outside and I want to take a shower because it's super hella hot in this room and my hair looks a hot mess girl like I look I feel like cousin it and electrified by something I don't know but, um, if you have not watched my first tutorial and collab with the beautiful As Told by Gigi, please, please watch that. I'll put the link for that down in the description box. And if you have not already, please check out her channel. She is super funny. And she is just the sweetest person I've met so far on Instagram. I'm so excited to have made a friend on Instagram and on YouTube. So, please go take a look at her channel and make sure that you subscribe to hers and mine on Instagram as well. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in another video.